Hey everyone, Ryan Turford here. Of course, it is Monday, and you know what that means. Another Let's Play right here on YouTube.com slash Ryan Turford, of course. I bring you new videos every single day, Monday through Friday, at noon Pacific Time, or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you're one of those Eastern Standard Time folks like myself. Of course, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share with all your friends, all that good stuff. Um, of course, uh, we are playing a different video game today. <laughs> We're playing Heavy Rain. I thought, I'm sorry, I tried to think of something witty and I just couldn't do it, you know. I can't be on all the time, guys. Let, let's be real here. Uh, so we're playing Heavy Rain. Now, in case you guys aren't aware or have never played Heavy Rain before, um, it was originally released on the PS3 um, a long time ago. Um, and it has finally been ported along with Beyond Two Souls to PS4. Uh, so we're going to jump into the first little bit of uh, Heavy Rain to see how it sort of stacks up as a new game. Um, although I suspect it's going to be looking very dated as it is still an older game. Um, so here's our boy, Ethan Mars. Um, Ethan Mars, of course, um, should have been PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, but I'm going to save that argument for another day um, and for other people who are better at making that argument than myself. So first of all, if you've ever played this game before, it is referred to as being an interactive drama. Um, so it's not necessarily a, um, a visual novel. It's not on that level, but it's like... Almost like it's trying to be an interactive movie, essentially. Um, whenever he's talking, for example, I'm going to sort of stay quiet. But for the most part, um, we're just going to play through. Uh, the controls are still just as wonky as ever. And some of the stuff is just as goofy as um, as ever. This game is full of quick time events. And depending on your actions uh, with your quick time events or choices you make, um, it can actually drastically alter the game's story uh, in ways that you probably wouldn't even imagine. Um, so we're basically just walking around uh, Ethan Mars's house. Um, he just woke up. He's got to get his house ready for a birthday party for his child, Sean. He has two boys as children. And as you can see, the mother has already prepared quite a bit. Um, so basically, if you hold down the, the left, uh, L2, I'm so used to saying L, uh, left trigger on Xbox, um, you can find out what he's thinking. So he's like, hey, I've got some time for great he can think time. about, hey, I, maybe I should do some work, or maybe he should go work in the garden. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. I always thought it was really creepy play playing this game. And knowing what the character was thinking. Like you could read their thoughts, essentially. Of course, here's here's the front yard. There's a bunch of kids just going around playing. He's just like, no. I don't want to go hang out with little kids. I'm sorry. It, it, it's just too much. So now he's thinking about all kinds of different things. I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta get Ethan Mars some orange juice. No, Ethan Mars, go this way. <laughs> the camera angle is, by the way, very much in the Resident Evil vein and not necessarily in a good way um, as to they kind of go all over the fucking place if you're not careful. So we're going to get ourselves some orange juice. Um, so we go in here. We can grab the orange juice. Oh, we can shake. That That's us shaking that orange juice. <laughs> yes, uh, this game is full of motion controls, by the way. Um, so they're... For a lot of the quick time events, you have to do this. Just shake, and it's kind of annoying. There was actually, um, when the PlayStation Move came out, because this game was out before PlayStation Move, um, they actually had a PlayStation Move version of this particular game. That It was just called the PlayStation Move version. Um, so you could actually play with your PlayStation Move doing the actions with the waggle, you know. Oh, we got to carefully sip the coffee. I'm going too fast here. Of course, he just had like a little shot of coffee. He's just like, I'm not going to drink that much. All right, so what are we going to do next? So we're going to say birthday. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. I hope that uh, Grace found a present for Jason's birthday as well. Uh, what else we got here? How about some music? How about some music? All right, so let's go. Find the stereo, I believe it's over here somewhere. I haven't played this game in a long time, kids. So, Or maybe we'll go outside. 
we we did say we want to go do gardening. And yes, if we just hold up there, we just look outside. Let's go outside. Let's go to the backyard. These kids are so lucky though. They got a they got a tree fort. They live in a really weird building that Ethan basically designed because, you know, he's an architect. That that's his job. But yeah, he designed a really, really, like, bare-bones house, it looks like. And they all live in it. And yes, he was showing off his swordsmanship skill. <laughs> I'm sorry, th this game just gets me every time. It's so goofy. But that, that That's part of the charm. That's why I like this game. It's a very goofy game. Alright, so what, we, what can we do over there? Oh, we're, gonna, we're just going to lay on the ground. We're just going to look at the sky. Oh, we, we almost got up too fast. Don't want to get a head rush there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do next. By the way, how rare is that to actually have like a giant stone wall there as a fence? Like, how cool is that? I want one of those in my house. All right, so now we're going to go sit by this tree and be like, you know, I could think of a really good story about pine cones right now. Bet you that that's what Ethan Mars is thinking. Oh, but now he's going to like fall asleep at this tree as like this sad piano music plays because you got to worry about that origami killer that's what this game's about it's about um this killer who kills children and his nickname is the origami killer because he leaves a little origami figure at the scene of the crime hey, hey take it easy you're gonna knock me over uh, so this is your big day huh? <laughs> oh my god what's wrong with this face <laughs> He looks like like a porcelain figure or something that's really creepy. <laughs> of course, no one helps the mother with the bags. They just leave her there. All right, so basically here we got to hold down all the buttons at the same time. Like if we let go of one of the two of them, we'll drop the groceries or drop an orange like so. Oh, he's all thumbs today. Uh, I don't even know what that means. I'm so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Uh, not really. <laughs> we really tried to do that work. We told we just laid in the yard and then laid so, laid in the yard some more. Next month. It's amazing. Uh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready to All right, so we're going to get some plates for Jason. So we're going to open the <laughs> this uh, this cabinet. Of course, it's always stuck, so we got to do this. All right, so we're going to pick up the plates. And then she wants us to be very careful with these plates. So we gotta, we're got to be very careful with these plates. So basically... Um, it wants us to move very slowly, because if we move too fast, we're going to break the plates. Or she's going to yell at us for breaking the plates. Like so. <laughs> hey, Ethan, you said you were going to be careful. I'm sorry, I'll be more gentle. Oh, Jesus. We weren't being too gentle with the plates. You know, if we, we, like, bang him around like that, we're going to break one of these plates. And then she's going to get really mad at me. She's going to be like, you know, I'm going to divorce your ass because you broke one of my mom's plates. All right, so what are we going to do now? So. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. We're going to go outside and play with the kids. Because we were outside earlier. Oh, look at these two. They got the sword fight going. That's it. I'm free as a bird. What the hell is she cooking in five minutes for these kids? Alright, so which one of these kids do we want to actually let do stuff? Me first, me first. No, me first. God, they both want to go. They're just so so demanding. I wanna do the helicopter. My... Alright, so... We can't really drop them, unfortunately. It would be that awesome if we could, but we have to sort of use the motion control to basically drive Ethan Mars like a car or a plane 
or whatever by doing this. As you can see, I'm holding up the controller to indicate how ridiculous this is. Wee! See, he's a plane. See, this brings back so many childhood memories of being carried around like a plane. All right, so we're gonna bring him back. We're gonna put him down. All right, so it's his turn now. All right, Jason, let's do the helicopter. Jason. All right, so now we're gonna swing him around like this. Whoa! This can't go badly, by the way. <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with that kid's face? Well, I'd certainly hope he's a little dizzy after that. Like, Jesus. Come on, Dad. Show us how strong yeah, show he us just picked one of them up and carried them around. They showed him how strong he is. All right, so we're going to just tap, 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 tap. And Ethan Mars is like, oh, I'm so strong. Look at me carry children. <laughs> oh, man. He's just like, he's all tuckered out now. You gotta, you gotta work for that meal. Oh, so here we, here we go. So you remember that sword fighting technique we were practicing before? It's go time. Now the real question is, do we really take it to Sean, or do we let him like at least win? Oh, jeez. Jason's gonna take us out. We're not doing so good. Whack! <laughs> oh man, Ethan Mars is such a bad father. He just whacks his kid in the face with a sword. And, oh, in the ankle. He's just like, shows no mercy. Mercy. He's just like, you know, you just can't take me out. Jason just can't beat him. He just can't beat Ethan Mars. <laughs> oh, he ran out of HP. It's over. Jason is Jesus, Ethan Mars. So now we're going to go eat dinner with our family. Because, you know, that's what we do in video games, right? We go hang out with our family and eat dinner. Sean, lunch is ready. Uh, well, I guess we sit over here. Or we gotta go find Sean. We gotta go find Sean. Sean? Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. Oh, uh, we can't. We can't just yell for Sean. We gotta. We gotta just walk around and maybe find him. Once again, this is like the most like empty drab house you'll ever see. Oh my god, Sean's sad. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. No, Sean. Aw, poor Sean. There's some things which just have to happen. That bird was so alive just a moment ago. How did the... How, oh, I guess he went into the bird cage and pulled it up, but I'm like, how the fuck did the bird get out of there? And is that the way the, the bird died? Is that, I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go to the mall. We're going to go to the mall with the kids. Because, once again, we're playing a video game. So we're going to go We're gonna go to the mall. We're going to hang out with Jason and Sean as they run around like children. Because they're children. Also, what kind of mall has a merry-go-round in it? That's cool, man. I want one of those in my mall. Look at that clown. Look how creepy that clown is. <laughs> God. I used to hate I, I used to hate clowns so much. I'm sorry, I'm one of those people. Sure, no problem. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come on, honey. Oh jeez, we gotta watch Jason. Jason, of course, is like, you know, I'm bored of just standing here. I'm just going to walk off really slowly, and then Ethan Mars won't even realize it. Jason. 
Jason? 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 If, by the way, if anyone remembers anything about this game, it's this. Jason? 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 He says it, like, differently every time, and it's always, like, really, really bad. Oh, my God. We're just going to keep saying Jason as we walk up to Jason. You know, maybe he'll, we'll catch up with him? Jason, you really shouldn't run around like Once again, Ethan Mars is like the worst dad ever. He just stands there and he's not, he just doesn't even pay attention to his kids. He like looks forward and then all of a sudden Jason just walks slowly away. <laughs> so now we're going to buy a balloon from this creepy, creepy clown. <laughs> Look how creepy that clown is. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. You chose poorly. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. Of course, Jason's just like, you know, I don't want to do anything. He's just like, I'm, I'm just going to walk around. Of course, Ethan's just like, which pocket is my money in? See, Ethan Mars would know what pocket his money is in, but I don't know which pocket Ethan Mars' is money in. It, money's in. So we're going to just keep digging through his pockets. Okay, so it's up. I couldn't see it from behind his back, surprisingly. So once again, Jason just runs off again, like a dumb kid. What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. So of course. Jason's just like, you know, I'm just going to run away because that seems like a fun Jason! thing to do. It's fine. Jason! And now we got the dramatic music. And you know what that means? It's Jason! finally time for bad things to happen. And by bad things, Jason! I mean Ethan Mars is, is a dummy. Or Jason just Jason! likes to run away like a dumb kid. Jason! By the way, my favorite Jason is when he says, Jason! Jason. <laughs> so we're going to th chase that red balloon through this giant crowd of people Jason. while we keep saying Jason, and Jason. he's just like, you know, maybe I should just keep walking to all these other balloons. Jason. Watch it. Jason. By the way, why the f I've never seen a mall with this many fucking people in, in like the lobby before. Jason. Like all in one area before. Also, now his red balloon's this Jason. way, so we gotta sort of look for Jason, again, all over the place. Jason. Jason. Of course, Ethan Mars is like, you know, I'm just gonna keep pushing through people. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll eventually find him. And yes, it's another kid with a red balloon with a green shirt with brown hair. And Jason's like, you know, maybe I should just leave them all without my parents. Maybe this seems like a smart idea. I'm sure nothing bad could happen if we if I do this. Jason! Jason! Hey, be careful. Jason! Jason! Alright, so now we've left them all. Jason's nowhere to be found. Again, Jason's being a dumbass. He's like, you know, I'm just gonna walk all over the place. Alright, so of course, Jason, like a dummy, is just like, you know, I don't r run into the middle of the road. I'm sure this will turn out fine. And of course, he jumps in front of a car. Fun fact, somehow Ethan Mars is fine from this. He's the one who gets hit by the car and the one who dies is Jason. How the fuck does that even work? <laughs> it's just like, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, he was shielded from the car, but he's he's the one who dies. Of course, yes. I, you don't need me to tell you that. The red balloon's flowing away. Because he got he bought the red balloon. That's what happened. That, that That's sort of the problem there. I mean, 
this should be a lesson to you kids at home. Don't buy red balloons. Because, you know, red balloons are bad. And bad things happen. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Let's Play of Heavy Rain. So what do you folks at home think about Heavy Rain? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, you can even just write Jason all all in caps if you want. That, that's too, totally cool with me. Um, again, if you want to reach out to me on Twitter, you can find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford. That's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. You also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ryan Turford. Um, I have an awesome extra life event coming up at the end of the month. I will be telling you guys about it on Friday of this week. Uh, so t tune in for Mario Maker Fridays this week and I'll tell you all about the extra life plans. Uh, last but not least, you can find me on the Game Moose podcast. I co-host it every single week with Drew McMillan. You can find us over at facebook.com slash game moose podcast. You can find us over at www.talkmoose.com or you can find us on iTunes. Just search for Game Moose and it should come up right away or uh, I embed the iTunes link in the description of this video so you can click on it there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Let's Play of Heavy Rain. I want to say thanks for watching. Of course, I'm Ryan Turford and I'm out.